Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm Riley Damara, alongside Brady Jensen. On this week's show, we have highlights from soccer, swimming, golf, softball, and baseball. Let's get started. The Lady Ravens softball team opened up their season Tuesday night. Zach Clay has the highlights. On Tuesday night, the Lady Ravens played their season opener against Shawnee Mission North and Shawnee Mission South. After finishing second in state last season, the Lady Ravens continued their dominance into this season, beating both Shawnee Mission North and South 15-0. Check out next week's show for a recap on the game against Crosstown rival Olathe East. For Bryce Lundgren, this has been Zach Clay, now back to the desk. Up next, the girls swimming team competed in their first city meet, where they took second. Brooke Todd and Riley have the recap. Last week, the Lady Ravens swim and dive team kicked off their 2016 season versus all the four Olathe schools. Olathe Northwest ended up getting second beating South and North, but falling short to Olathe East. On Wednesday, the Lady Ravens took on Blue Valley North. Some of the events the girls competed in include backstroke, freestyle, breaststroke, and butterfly. The Ravens ended up winning their dual meet against Blue Valley North. Come support the girls next Tuesday at 4 p.m. at Shawnee Mission West. This has been Brooke Todd, and now back to the desk. The Lady Ravens soccer team kicked off their season against the Washington Rural Blues. Parker Rawson and Matt Vanderslice have the highlights. The Lady Ravens soccer team kicked off the season Tuesday against Washburn Rule and the Varsity Girls Invitational Soccer Tournament. The Ravens started out the game playing solid defense and scoring the first goal from Emily Kemp at the 31st minute. But Washburn Rural scored just one minute later, tying the game 1-1. One one. Washburn scored again as the ball slipped through Kaylee Kaplan's hands, putting Washburn up 2-1. to one. The Ravens came out strong after halftime, scoring their second goal in the 44th minute on a Taylor Wayne's corner kick that the goalkeeper deflected out to Savannah Moxley, who then passed it to Cat Payne, who went far post for the goal. The game remained tied during regulation and went to double overtime and eventually penalties. The Ravens lost with a final score of 3-2, with Washburn winning 4-2 and penalties. The Ravens' next game is on Tuesday here at Seaback at 7 o'clock against Lawrence. So go out and support your ratings. This has been Parker Alston, now back to the desk. The golf team has high expectations coming into the season. Their quest to become the best started Thursday. Jackson Mealman has the highlights. The ONW golf team traveled to Deer Creek Country Club to play in the Shawnee Mission South Invitational. The team took first place out of 11 teams in their first outing of the year. Jackson Wexler took 6th overall and Harry Welsh took 10th place. The Ravens' next golf outing is next Monday at Lake Revere Golf Club. Come on out and support the golf team. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Jackson Mealman. Now back to the desk. Finally, the baseball team squared off against Rockhurst Tuesday. Looking for their first win of the season, Zach Clay has the story. On Tuesday night, the Ravens baseball team took on the Rockhurst Hawklets. The Ravens had a very successful night, winning in extra innings 4-3. The Ravens had great pitching all night, coming from Treston Rook, Ian Thompson, Jack Schrod, and Alex Hansen. Congratulations to the team as they got their first win of the season. For Jake Taylor, this has been Zach Clay. Now back to the desk. That's all we have for you this week, Ravens. For Brady Jensen, I'm Riley Tomorrow. Have a great weekend. <laughs>